welcome to my vlog. It is Monday, May 1st. I can't believe it. Well, we celebrated Caitlin's 23rd birthday yesterday, and today Lauren came over. We filmed. What a day we had, you guys. Oh my gosh. We had so many bloopers, plus we were in the middle of a tornado watch. It was just a crazy day, but we got our filming over with, and now it's time about four o'clock, so it's time for me to make dinner. I'm gonna make something with chicken, and then I was gonna make that cauliflower fried rice again. I'm like, I think on my last vlog, that's how I started out, with the same kind of recipe, I think. I'm not sure what meat we had, so you may see another repeat today, but I'm gonna film a lot during the week this week because this weekend I am traveling out of town to Columbus to our nephew's uh, graduation from the Ohio State University. So I wanna enjoy family, so I'm not gonna vlog probably this weekend. That's why I thought, well, this week I'll just take you along with me. So I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna make for dinner and I'll catch up with you guys or check in with you guys here in a little bit. All right, Mark and I decided we were gonna make up a form of jambalaya. So we sort of threw a bunch of stuff together in the frying pan. I've got some brown rice cooking up, so let me show you. We basically just uh, diced up some chicken, some sausage, turkey sausage, threw in some shrimp, diced tomatoes, a bunch of seasonings, um, garlic, onion, fresh parsley, and I've got the brown rice in here. And we're gonna mix it all together and I'll let you know how it came out. So this is something, like I said, we literally just threw together. It smells good though. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna give it a try. I've got my orange water, filtered water. So I hope this is good. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. It's about 9.30. I'm sitting there enjoying my coffee. And uh, it's rainy and crappy out. It's supposed to be a crappy, cold, 50 degree weather week. Ugh. But anyway, we have our builder uh, hopefully coming today. Um, our house is six and a half years old and uh, all of our faucets and all of our bathrooms just started leaking. And so we were talking to him and he's like, oh, that's not right. I'll, I'll just come and replace him. We're like, really? Thank you. So, um, I'm hoping he comes today, but if not, I'm gonna do some editing on some videos. Uh, so, uh, and also, I figured if he is coming, I'm gonna go ahead and clean underneath all of the uh, sinks because you know how sometimes these things accumulate. So I'm gonna go to the store and get some containers and I'm gonna reorganize underneath the sinks. That gives me a good excuse to do that. So I'm gonna do that today. But I do wanna answer a few questions. I know some of you were really concerned that Caitlin, why Caitlin moved back. And so basically I'll try to tell this to you like the short version of it. But you know when Caitlin moved out there, uh, you know, she got her job and she, her roommate was a friend of a friend. And at first, trust me, Mark and I were like, you know, Kate, why don't you just get a job near here, save some money, blah, blah, blah. And Kate's like, no, I mean, I love Phoenix. You know, my stepson, Zach, lives out there. She says, I love that weather. I just want to give it a try. And we're like, okay, fine. So anyway, what happened was basically um, her roommate, we knew that the brother was going to be going to ASU in the fall and he was going to be moving into the condo. It was a three-bedroom condo. Uh, but I guess he must have gotten a scholarship and the school wanted him out there earlier, like soon, like probably now. And uh, the parents thought that since two of their four children were gonna be there in Arizona, that they wanted to have their, be able to stay in their own condo. And I get that. Uh, the unfortunate thing is they only gave her a 21 day notice. So Kaylin had nothing. So she was looking at apartments, they were rather expensive. Uh, she would need all furniture. And when Mark and I and Morgan and Tony and Allie all flew out there to visit them, Mark talked to Kate and he said, Kate, hon, why don't you just move home? Move home and uh, save some money, you know, find a job locally. And actually she has been interviewing and she doesn't, uh, trust me, Caitlin went away to college for four and a half years. So, she is, you know, she likes being out, but she likes to be out on her own. So, and you know, same with Allie. Allie, my stepdaughter, you know, Allie's 26. She's been saving money. She graduated from college a little while ago and she's been saving up her money. So now she's looking to buy a house. So, so we're, you know, so excited for her as well. So um, it's great having the girls home. You know, they're just so fun at night to hang out and well, Actually, when they are home, they both have social lives. They're sometimes never around. But Mark and I are enjoying it while we can because we know both of them are going to be out on their own. And uh, and you know what? We're glad that we've been able to. Sorry, I'm just getting all these text messages. That glad that they were able to, um, you know, come home and save a little bit. So, uh, Caitlin's happy. Uh, she's not going to want to live near here. Probably about an hour away. At least she knows we're close enough. But the great thing is, Mark and I have furniture um, in our family room downstairs. That's older, but 
but still really nice furniture that we've been really holding on to whenever we knew the kids ever needed them. So this is great. So this way now if Caitlin, you know, actually she does have a place on hold that she will hopefully be moving into she, maybe like the end of summer. So now between Allie and Kate, we've got some furniture for them. They can help get them started, uh, which is a great thing. So all in all, it really worked out. Uh, it's it's gonna be a great thing. So she's glad to be home. Mark and I are glad to have her home. And uh, you know, Mark and I love having the kids around. So it's a great thing. So, uh, well, I'm going to, oh, UPS is here. I think it's for me, but Archie's barking. I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit. All right, well, I'm gonna head out here in a few minutes. I just got done cleaning underneath my bathroom sink. I was talking to my BFF Shelly on the phone um, while I was organizing everything. So now I'm gonna head out and get some, uh, just some plastic containers to put some of the stuff in. This one knows that I'm leaving. So he was barking. And it looks like the um, contractor is not going to be here today to do the faucet. So I'm gonna head out. Run a few errands, and I'm not sure what we're gonna do for dinner tonight, but I'll check in with you all here in a little bit. Oh, but I wanna tell you guys too, you know how we got that PR box from Luxaton? I am loving all the products. Well, you should see, uh, you guys already saw the video. Uh, Lauren and I shared it with you, but the perfume smells so good. Lauren, Lauren and I, um, I, we, I put, we put some in a lot of the stuff we have to share. So we get containers and we split the stuff. So um, this perfume, guys, smells amazing. I am loving it so much. I'm gonna show you it again. I brought it out from my room because I'm organizing. But again, here's some lighting here. So can you guys see, it's hard to see. So here it is. Oh, it's hard to see the name just because, can you see that? Anyway, it smells simply fabulous. I am in love with it. So I wanted to share that with you. All right, I'm gonna head out and run my errands and I'll check in a little bit later. All right, well, I just got the banking done. I went to Dollar, Je what's ours called? Dollar, Dollar General. So I'm gonna do a little haul when I get home. So I got some little organization kind of containers. So I'm excited about that. Just to get organized is always so much fun. So I'm gonna run into a Walgreens real quick. Oh, our Walgreens actually did a completely new remodel. And oopsie, here we go. We have so many wonderful um, cosmetic, hold on, I'm gonna get over it. Uh, Okay, we're carrying Boots number seven and Soap and Glory. Um, they were adding some additional ones. This is one of the first newly redone kind of beauty areas in our whole area. So Gigi, who basically runs the whole thing, has done such an amazing job, and she was telling me about it, and I saw that they were starting to get everything set up. So I'm gonna go in there and let's check it out. Hopefully she's working today. All right, let's go inside Walgreens, see what they've done. Well, I picked up a few things at Walgreens, and uh, so I'll show you those when I get home. And uh, then I'll show you also the stuff that I got at Dollar General. And uh, so yeah, well you guys, it's 51 degrees outside. I feel like I'm so bundled up for May 2nd. I'm just, just so disgusting that it's disgusting here. It just is. I want warm. I'm so just envious of anyone that lives in warm weather. Though I do normally, I love our summers and our fall season here, but this has just got to go. I just want to be warm. We got all of our deck furniture out, and I feel like I haven't even really enjoyed it. So, but I'm sure someday soon, hopefully. All right, well, I'm gonna run home here and um, pull all my stuff out. I'll show you guys that. And then Mark's gonna be coming home soon. We're gonna go vote. We have to vote for a local judge and a school levy today. So we're gonna do our little duty, do our voting. And uh, then I'm not sure what we're gonna do for dinner. Mark, Caitlin is out and about. Allie probably has, I know she has something going on later. So um, maybe Mark and I will just go out to dinner or something tonight. So who knows? Um, I cooked last night as you guys uh, saw and I have stuff to cook for tonight too just whatever he decides he wants to do so all right I'll check in with you here in a little bit all right I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up from Dollar General so these are I thought I can put these in my room on that one kind of looks like a ladder kind of um, 
a shelving. And uh, these are bigger, so I think I want to just use these for like palettes and different makeups in. I've got a really large size. This one here, they don't quite match my uh, decor in there, but I thought they were pretty. One says Inspire, I believe. Little one too. So these are really, I think they're really pretty. Uh, I got a couple of these containers. I probably won't use the lids, but uh, just so I can organize underneath my sink. Some different sizes here. And I got these little orange ones to go like maybe underneath uh, the powder room sink or our bathroom sink. And then I got a couple plugins. I just love the scent of the downy. And these are the lavender. Got the holders for them. And I got these cute Dixie paper plates. I like to use those in the summer when they're like entertaining a little bit outside for say appetizers or whatever. And then from Walgreens, I got this caress. I love this. Evenly gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's like an exfoliating soap. And the natural, natural, Jergens Natural Glow, I got the Firming Medium to Tan. When me and Lauren did a video last, um, that came out this past week, you guys are just seeing, um, I realized that I was out of it, and I love that stuff. Picked out a couple little, um, little techniques. This teeny little sponge is for makeup. This uh, pretty little blush um, from, it's an ombre blush, Wet n Wild. This color is ombre, well, it says ombre blush. You guys can see that. And some fashion tape, never know when you need that. And uh, I love this little lippy. This one I think is called, oops, hold on, I think it's upside down. Oh, maybe it's not. Got my glasses. Oh, vanilla cream pie. And I really like it, have it on right now. So that is my little Walgreens and Dollar General haul. So. I'm gonna try to get some of this organized real fast before Mark gets home and we go vote. So, oh, so it's only 2.14, so I've got some time. So I'm gonna take this little puppy out. Look at him, he's watching our neighbors are getting all this um, stuff delivered. He's just being so nosy out there, barking at the delivery people, but right now he's being pretty good. Hi, Arch. Hi. You have to go out? To go out? Let's go outside. Wanna go outside? All right, well, I cleaned underneath the bathroom counters. They look so much better, more organized. And uh, I just ordered Chinese for dinner. I know it's not the healthiest, but we try to get the healthiest. But, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you want to do. We voted. We got that done. So uh, everything's all nice and clean in here. Underneath looks very organized. So I'm very happy about that. So not this is going to mean anything to you guys, but I got all my... Uh, hairsprays and like hair products. Um, I got dry shampoos, little extra deodorants and stuff like that. Uh, self tanners and some face masks. And over here I got some, um, oh, actually lotions, <laughs> lotions and bath stuff. So I know it doesn't look very organized, but trust me, it, it does. It really does look much more organized than it was. So I'm happy I got everything. Hello. Cleaned a few brushes. So it's all done. I feel good about that. I did Mark's side as well, so it's nice and clean. And of course, they didn't come today to put the new faucets in, but what else is new? So um, I'm gonna go enjoy our Chinese dinner and uh, probably just enjoy the rest of the night. Finish doing, I gotta do some editing. I have so much to do of that yet tonight, so I wanna do that. And I probably will just check in with you guys tomorrow. So um, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, you guys, I'm actually at the department store Dillard's. I'm going to run in here. Well, actually, I didn't even say anything. Happy Wednesday. Um, I am here at the department store. I'm going to run in. I need to go bra shopping. How boring is that? But I need some new bras. So uh, it is Wednesday afternoon, and uh, I just uh, did finished editing finally today. So thank goodness for that. And um, what did we do last night? Oh, Chinese. Awful. I'm so mad I wasted the calories on that. And, uh, and then basically I just finished laundry. I had piles of laundry up, folded up on the bed last yesterday. So I finally put all those away last night. And uh, let's see, what else did we do? Oh gosh, well I was putting laundry away. This was so funny. PBS had a special and it was the Carpenters. And Mark's like, oh my gosh, remember this song? Remember that song? Him and I are walking around the house and putting right away laundry. We're singing Carpenter songs. It was so hilarious. I forgot how many songs I love from the Carpenters and how many songs do we know every word to, you know? 
So actually, and it reminded me, I told Mark, I said, you know, Karen Carpenter is the one that inspired me to want to play the drums, hence her name. But also, I thought the drums seemed like such a cool thing to play. So it was in fourth grade, my parents actually took me for drum lessons. So when I was in fifth grade, um, was when you were able to try out for the band and I obviously was trying out for the drums and I remember the the um, band instructor saying gosh this girl can play the drums and uh, I just you know I had a whole year's practice so I really enjoyed playing the drums I was in the marching band in high school though I did quit after 11th grade I just wanted to enjoy my senior year of high school without being in the band but I had a drum set and so I dug around this morning trying to find that picture because I wanted to show you guys it's hilarious I did find it so I We'll post it after at the end of this video. It's so funny. I think I was like 14 in that video. I wish I could find one of the ones when I was in the marching band, but I couldn't find it. Um, but while I was digging through pictures, I found a picture of me and Regis. Remember Regis and Kathy Lee? And I have a picture with Regis. I did have one with Kathy Lee, but I can't find that one either. So I think maybe I'll put that at the end of this video as well. Check out my hair. That is hideous. Oh my gosh. What was I thinking back then? So I had a, quite a few laughs this morning, but it was fun going down memory lane, talking about my drumming days and singing Carpenter songs last night. Mark and I had a blast. So, all right, I'm going to go in and try to find a bra and, um, and then I got to get home for the bug man because he's finally coming to check out the inside because last time he was three hours late. So, uh, yeah, that's my day. Nothing too exciting. Uh, so I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit. Alright you guys, while well, I got my groceries and I'm really excited for dinner tonight, uh, I'm going to make some uh, saute some banana peppers and some cubanelle peppers and uh, I've got some sun-dried tomatoes and some orchata, I think it's how you pronounce it, I got the whole wheat though, and some fresh Picorino Romano cheese and uh, so it's gonna be delicious oh and those delicious tomatoes so I'll show you all the foods when I get home I think I'm gonna stop at my one store I think I stopped it on my last vlog and get a salad because I'm starving so uh, that's what's next so uh, I'll see you guys at Ailey's or Ely's for lunch all right guys wanted to share with you what I picked up at the grocery store and then when I start dinner in the meantime, I've been chit-chatting back and forth with Tika, totally Tika. You guys, she has so many cool things going on for her right now. I am so happy for her. I just adore her so much, and I'm just over the moon excited for her. I just had to share. Anyway, I hope you guys follow her on Snapchat. She just has so much cool stuff going on in her world, and it's exciting. Okay, so anyway, back to my groceries, which is rather boring. So here we go. All right, of course, I got their fresh Italian bread because Mark loves their fresh Italian bread. I mean, of course, I do too, but he's the one that will enjoy it. I tried to stay away, even though I love it. Got my Cubanel peppers. I want to um, saute these with some banana peppers, a little red pepper. Uh, I got some sun-dried tomatoes, so I'm going to cut those up and add them in, into the... Uh, to the mix and uh, I'm gonna make this organic gorgetta. I'm probably saying it wrong and I got my uh, my blend which I love my Romano cheese oh my goodness it's gonna be so good and then I always have make my own homemade meatballs but they do a pretty darn good job so I just thought I'd grab these real quick so I'm gonna get my dinner going I might throw some of these sweet brown grape tomatoes oh gosh you guys these are so delicious so when I get dinner rolling I did get some fruit just for the morning I got some butter lettuce for some wraps for lunch and this is the coffee I showed you I think um, maybe in the cart this is a chocolate strawberry I can't wait to try it out and a caramel truffle oh my goodness so it's gonna be delicious so I'm gonna get dinner started and I'll show you along the way all right, I'm gonna start sauteing the peppers and a little bit of garlic. So I got my EVOO and I'm gonna go ahead and get it in the pan here. And we're gonna saute these vegetables up. All right, you guys, I just dumped the peppers in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get them all fried up. And then I'm gonna get the water going for the pasta. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up the meatballs. And I'm gonna show you, if you just wanna make a simple, simple sauce, 
Um, and basically though, what I'm serving tonight won't be with sauce, but I have a little bit on the side there with the meatballs. But I'm gonna show you a simple way just to make a very simple, delicious tasting sauce. One of my favorite canned sauces though is uh, Formano's. I love this sauce, so here I'm gonna show you it here. So I'm gonna dump some of this in the pot with the meatballs. I'm gonna add some of this Romano cheese um, and some spices, and I'll show you those. All right, my peppers are frying up, so to the sauce, I added a little bit of Romano cheese, okay? And now I'm going to add some onion powder. Oops, that was a lot, oh well. Little garlic powder. Good thing this wasn't salt. <laughs> some oregano. Oops, see, I just dropped some on it. And then I am going to add a bay leaf. Okay, and then now I'm going to stir this around. I'm going to give it a good stir. Sorry about the lighting. And uh, let that cook for a little bit. And uh, let the meatballs finish cooking in with the sauce. I'm going to keep tossing the peppers. Got my water going for the pasta, so a lot of things going right now, but it's going to be delicious. All right, I want to show you what I did. Everything is all ready to go. I put some of the sun-dried tomatoes in the bowl first because I want to put the warm pasta over it just to heat them up a little bit. So I'm going to pour the pasta on here and then the peppers. All right, you guys, dinner is ready. I'm going to show you everything all put together. Oh my gosh, it smells so delicious. So here is the pasta with all the peppers, some more fresh Romano cheese, the garlic, and I got the um, sun-dried tomatoes in here, some fresh Italian bread, a little wine. We're all set for dinner. I cannot wait to dig in. Hi guys, happy Thursday. I'm actually making some lunch. I am browning up some ground turkey. I've got some butter lettuce caps and uh, I'm gonna have a little avocado. So we're gonna make a healthy lunch while I'm sitting here watching last night's episode of the New York Housewives. So uh, nothing really on the agenda today. They're gonna come and measure for our granite today, finally. And so I'm just chilling out around the house. I'm gonna do some packing and cleaning because we head to Columbus tomorrow morning. Me and actually Aunt Missy are gonna drive together. And then Mark and um, Missy's husband, Uncle Dave, and then Allie will be driving there Saturday morning for the graduation party. So um, anyway, that's all I'm doing today. Caitlin's watching a movie. I'm watching New York Housewives. I'm making some lunch. So that's really about it. I'm gonna take Archie out here. Arch, what are you doing? Let me go outside. I want to go outside. It's cold and crappy. Another cold and crappy day. Are right, you guys here? Is my lunch? I got the butter lettuce wrap with my ground turkey. I just seasoned it up with some avocado slices. Oh, what a yummy lunch! I cannot wait to dig in because I am starving. All right, so I take a break and share with you guys some of my new lippies. I got the uh, Clinique. Um, I love these new lippies from Clinique. I'm not sure really how new they are, but this one is Cake Pop. It's more of a, like a nudie color. And then I got Petal Pop. Oh my gosh, you guys. Here, I'll show you. How pretty that is. I love it. These are so smooth and creamy. They look so pretty on. So I'll show you what this one looks like right here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, I'll have the links listed below, but I am loving these. So this is, let me see, second day hair today, so not too, too bad. And I'm finding that I just not even having, I didn't even have to put any um, dry shampoo in my hair at all. So I'm very happy about that. So, all right, I got to do some dusting and organizing. Um, I got stuff again I just my husband laughs because I have when I pack and I do laundry I got I have stuff everywhere so I'm going to get organized I'm going to clean off my vanity I'm going to vacuum because I don't like to go out of town even if it's you know to Columbus or whatever without my house perfectly spotless before I leave so I'm going to go do all that stuff and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later I feel like it's such a boring vlog I just really not much going on I feel like I've been in the house non-stop because it's so yucky outside so uh but I'll check in with you a little bit later and by the way my lunch was fabulous so all right see you in a bit all right I am hungry <laughs> so I'm gonna make a snack you know one of my favorite snacks is the 
I got the vanilla Greek yogurt, and of course my PB Fit. And I have some wash some of these up and I have some blackberries. So I just love, this is such a nice, delicious, refreshing snack for the afternoon. So that's what I'm gonna do now and then start packing. I mean, it's gonna be seriously like 50s, 60 tops when we go to Columbus. So, I mean, this is crazy. I don't even know what kind of shoes to wear because you don't wanna wear boots in May, you know, but I don't wanna wear sandals. My feet will freeze. I'm not sure what to do. So I wanna start pulling things out after I have my little yogurt snack and figure out what I can pack for the trip. So yeah, that's what's on the agenda today for me. But love this lipstick, you guys. You have got to go try these out. They're great. Hi right, guys, I got my hair pulled back. It's getting on my nerves a little bit. I'm still packing. It's like, 7 30 at night and I'm still trying to decide what shoes to pack because it's going to be so darn cold <laughs> so um I probably won't vlog much more tonight I'm not sure even how much more of the weekend I'm going to just because I'm going to Columbus maybe tomorrow on the road trip with me and Missy I'm not sure so um I'll just check in with you guys on Friday Hi guys, happy Friday, I'm all packed up. We're getting ready to head out to Columbus. Missy's gonna pick me up here in a few minutes. I've got all my bags packed, curled my hair, got a sweater on, cause it is rainy and so cold. So uh, yeah, so I'll try to maybe film a little bit. I don't know how interesting it's gonna be on the car ride, but maybe we'll find something fun to talk about. So I will try to check in with you all later. All right, guys, I wanted to check in. We just got to Columbus. Here's Missy. Hi, glad we're here. Glad we're here. She drove in torrential downpour the entire time here. So we finally just got off the exit. We're gonna be at Tom and Donna's house here in a few minutes. And uh, if we do anything fun later, I'll be sure to pull out the camera, but I'm glad we made it. It was a fun drive. We just chit-chatted the whole time, so. Bye, everybody. Bye. So funny. So, so funny. You have the big Good morning, happy Saturday. I thought I would share with you guys how we do chocolate covered or dipped strawberries. So we bought these delicious strawberries. They've been washed, they've, they've dried out for a few hours. And then we are going to get these delicious chocolate wafers. Put them in a cake pan. We have two packets in here. We're gonna put them in the oven for maybe 10 minutes, 10 minutes or so at one, I think 70. 170. So we'll show you the process, but these are so easy and they look so beautiful. So this is gonna be one of the desserts today. I think this yeah. is for deep All enough. right, now we're dipping in. We have the pan, um, what do you call this? Just so basically a cake, pan. a cake pan. We've got some um, towels underneath it. So mm -hmm. all the chocolate's down to the one end and we're just gonna dip it in and put it on wax paper. All right, guys, this is Donna's, uh, I heard her little trick here, for a delicious fruit dip, and it's one block of cream cheese. And Donna, can you use regular, or can you use, like, low fat? You can use low fat. Low fat, and then to a whole container of this marshmallow fluff. That's it. Mix the two together. All right, Donna's dropping in the food coloring. So you put two I drops. All right, she's gonna mix it. We'll show how pretty it looks. My, all right, you guys. This is the finished dipped strawberry. Right now, we're melting in the oven the white chocolate. We're gonna use a fork and drizzle the white on top just to make it look real pretty, and then we're gonna place it on the tray. All right, we're gonna do a test. Oh, look at how pretty. Missy's got the motion. Look, you guys. And there you go. Are you trying a new trick to that? Oh, that's yeah. as simple as that. They should be gone. All right, you guys, here are the strawberries. Look at how pretty. They're all set and ready to go. And look at this fruit platter. So, so beautiful. I'll show you more as we finish up. just put our courtyard furniture out.
it's an awesome mix. These are the potatoes we use in potato curls. We add warm milk, and they are so delicious. All right, here's the table. Okay, so what do we okay, need, Mom? So what are we going to do? With I don't know where those other things I brought them. Whoops. In the laundry. Here's a dessert. Okay. I took a picture. Okay, of so we can see Here's our graduate. And then Dawn, I took a picture of the little. Well, happy Sunday. We are back from Columbus. I just got done grocery shopping. I'm on my way home. I'm at a stop sign, so I thought I'd chat with you real quick. And I uh, just got some groceries. I'm going to go home and just get some laundry done, plan dinner. And uh, that's really about it. It's a sunny day. It's chilly, 55. But we had a great weekend. I had so much fun with family. Tommy's graduation party was just a blast. So I'm not sure how long this vlog is so far. So if it is too long once I edit, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. And I look forward to seeing you in two weeks. I have so much to share with you again already two weeks from now. So if I don't get back on here later, I'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing.